Hello there. Recently we needed a new ultrasonic cleaning machine uh, for our experiments and I had a look on the, on the web and they're very expensive indeed. So we decided that we would buy the components and put the machine together ourselves, which is probably good because I can build one exactly as we like. I had to look for information on how to build and there is very little. So it's a question of gleaning bits and pieces from here and there on the web, but I decided that uh, we can handle this job since we bought a pre-made circuit board, which and I'll come to that in a moment. But right now, what I'm doing is cementing the transducer. This is, this is the part that actually makes the ultrasonic vibration onto the tank. And epoxy is the normal way this is done. Uh, there are stories that you need a very high grade epoxy and so on to maintain adhesion. Well, I'm afraid we're gonna to have to see if this epoxy is okay. But that will soon become apparent, I think, if there's a problem. This, by the way, was a dollar store saucepan. I've discarded the handle, it's a steel pan. Everything has been degreased and I've marked the place exactly where in the center where I want the horn to go. That's it. Let's give it a good squeeze down to remove any air bubbles. This is the driver circuit for the ultrasonic device. Um, <laughs> this one arrived with a broken wire. Oh, I think somebody cut it off when they packaged it, but never mind. Easy to fix. Um, it's a 100 watt full mains voltage device. And this is the ultrasonic transducer, the piezoelectric transducer that comes with it. And it's basically identical to the one you just saw me gluing together. And one of the problems with Chinese electronics in my experience is that they tend to be overdriven and under uh, <laughs> or an under spec So often overheating is a problem and also this needs to go into a box because you can't it's it can be a wet and messy business uh, it, ultrasonic so obviously it wouldn't do to have water poured all over it so i'm going to use a box like this a little dusty forgive me which is a perfectly standard plastic equipment box easy to cut and easy to drill and it will comfortably hold that but it's going to need some cooling so i'm going to fit a fan and some proper terminals outside for connecting the various things up so we don't have too many straggling wires everywhere. Here's the circuit board you saw earlier, mounted in the, in, in the box and I've mounted the terminal blocks but I haven't, as you see, finished wiring it up yet. No, that's not a big job. Um, all the holes are drilled, ready to go. If you look underneath, there's this which has two functions it keeps it off the bench a little bit which is good in case you spill anything on the bench and i often do but also through there i think you may be able to see it there's a hole which allows air to flow out from inside the box because the box has been fitted with fan cooling in it. and here we have a little uh, computer fan and also a 12 volt transformer to run it and also uh, this is connected to a little LED, a pilot LED, which will stop me forgetting it switched on possibly. Uh, very easy to do, especially in a noisy workshop. These are the uh, leads which we can connect up and the 12 volt transformer will be fed from the main supply, the same main supply that powers this. I'm going to bring out the uh, horn leads to this which is something I made earlier, which is a stand, as you see, and the transducer horn, as supplied, drops down into there. Here we are, like, like so. This one, this one has the terminals on. I can fit it in from underneath, however. There, the transducer horn fits there. The pan goes on there. Okay, all connected up. Time to see how well this works, I think.
looking for heat in the next door. We like to share the knowledge.